hi everyone in this tutorial we will continue our development of our url shortener application and in this lecture we will uh, see two things first is to create a copy button and then we need to copy our information or our shorted url to the clipboard so uh, let's start this process and uh, first of all i need to display this shorted url on our uh, streamlit web app so just remove this print here okay and here i will use a markdown so just write here st dot mark markdown okay and uh, sorry m a r k markdown and uh, I, this will be my formatted string because i need to place this uh, shorted url okay so just write here these uh, parentheses and write s h o r t d shorted url and uh, i will say unsafe allow html to true because i will put this uh, url inside at six heading so just write here uh, at six okay and uh, here at six as well at six okay but uh, in this case we need to close it so put this uh, slash and uh, i will style this heading as well so just copy this okay line this line just copy it and uh, paste it right here okay and let's save it and now uh, let's rerun this application and just copy this url paste it right here just short it and yeah this is my shorted url okay so it's very very cool and now here i will say a heading like a shorted url and then i will have this url and beneath this url i will have a copy button so let's do this process so before this line i will say uh, st dot markdown okay and uh, not a markdown i think here i will use t i t l e title and i will say uh, s h o r t d shorted u r l okay and uh, i will make it capital as well s h o r t d shorted url okay and then i will create a button so st dot b u double t on button and here i will say c o p y copy and i will save the state of button as well and i will say c uh, c underscore b t n maybe okay something like that but uh, I think uh, I will I do not need to save the state of this button in this case okay because uh, I will use the property of this button which is on click okay and whenever user clicks on this button I need to process a function okay so let's save it for now and uh, just rerun this application mm, so let's say paste the URL click on short and a shorted url and this is my shorted url and this is the copy button i hope that these two things are not looking weird but i think i will make it smaller actually for me it's looking so weird so just uh, convert this uh, title to maybe like uh, uh, mark markdown okay and uh, here i will use uh, h3 tag okay so just right here uh, h3 and then close and here i will convert these small letters to capital letters okay so s h o r t n e r short nor okay or oh, maybe e here okay shortener and now let's save it and now let's rerun this application and i hope that it will not look weird in this case let's paste it here just short it and yeah now i think uh, we have a cool output okay so whenever user clicks on this copy button we need to copy the url okay so just uh, write here uh, uh, property and uh, that is on underscore click okay and here we need to define a function so about uh, this thing let's create a function so write here dev and then i will say cop by ing copying okay and here uh, i will also use an other library of python and that is pi per clip okay so it's a very weird name but yeah this is the library name so let's open a new terminal and uh, right here pip instl install and then pypr and clip pi per clip hit enter and uh, as you can see 
requirement already satisfied i have already installed it so after installation of this library you need to restart your vs code again okay and after restarting it you need to import this library so right here import pi per clip okay and now with the help of this pi per clip we will actually copy our information okay so inside this function i will say pi PR per clip pi per clip dot copy copy okay and now here we need to write a text that we need to copy and obviously in this case we need to copy this shorted url okay so just to copy this name copy it and uh, paste it right here okay let's save it and now on the on click uh, i need to call this function copying okay so here you will be thinking that okay so we are doing everything like this but we can do that process like this as well uh, if i save the start of the button inside this uh, variable and if i check that uh, if uh, c underscore btn is true this means if user has clicked on this button then we need to copy it so here let me mention you one thing that uh, whenever a, a user clicks on buttons or radio buttons or any interactable widget in streamlit the streamlit will start processing each and everything from the top okay and in this case whenever uh, our streamlit application comes to this part it will stop its processing because this is a form and here we need to click on this button on this sub form submit button before it executes it so in this case our streamlit application will never reach this point and that's why the, uh, our application will not copy our shorted url to the clipboard so in order to avoid this type of uh, error you need to use this on click uh, attribute or a property of this button so this on click basically allow us to execute this function before streamlit rerun each and everything so that's why i'm not saving the start of this button i'm directly using the property of this button and uh, this is how everything will work so let's save it and uh, now let's uh, rerun this thing okay rerun it and here you need to paste this uh, copy it and paste your url just click on this short okay and now let's copy it copy it and okay everything has gone but we have successfully copied it so let's open a new tab and now whenever i right click and whenever i paste it as you can see we have this tiny url okay so we are successfully copying the shorted url using pi per clip module of python so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will see something new till that point bye bye